Imagine a world where the limits of speed are shattered, and distances once thought insurmountable are conquered in mere minutes. This isn't science fiction anymore, this is the dawn of the hypersonic era, and it's happening faster than anyone anticipated. Today, we're diving deep into the groundbreaking work of Hermes and their Quarter Horse project, a hypersonic aircraft poised to rewrite the rules of aviation. But hold on, this isn't just another aircraft, it's a machine that could change the future of travel, military dominance, and even commercial flight as we know it. When we think of speed, we often reference legends like the Concorde or the SR-71 Blackbird. But both of these icons, despite their achievements, now seem outdated when compared to what Hermes is aiming to accomplish. The SR-71, with its Mach 3.3 record, has held the crown for nearly half a century, but Quarter Horse is designed to not just beat that record, it's designed to obliterate it. We're talking about speeds beyond Mach 5, think about that for a second, over five times the speed of sound. And here's the kicker, this isn't just a dream. Tests have already begun, and Hermes is racing toward breaking those speed records by 2025. An airplane that surpasses the speed of sound, this could be a monster of the sky, and it seems we can't see it as it flies by. Is this crazy or not? Now, what makes Quarter Horse so different from everything that's come before it? The magic lies in its Chimera engine, and no, this isn't just some cool name thrown in for flair. The Chimera is a hybrid engine, a turbine-based combined cycle TBCC engine, to be specific. It combines turbojet and ramjet technologies in a way that's never been done before, allowing the aircraft to seamlessly transition from supersonic to hypersonic speeds. To put that into perspective, turbojets can accelerate jets from standstill to around Mach 3, but beyond that, they hit their limits. Ramjets, on the other hand, thrive at Mach 5 and beyond, but are useless at low speeds. So Hermes' genius was to combine the two using a turbojet to handle the initial stages of flight, then switching over to the ramjet for those insane hypersonic speeds. This isn't just theory. In November 2022, Hermes successfully tested this transition, proving that the Chimera engine could deliver on its promise. And this mysterious plane was tested many times, and also gave quite successful results, although many times failed and many times succeeded, but it brought hope for the future of the US aviation industry. Here's where it gets even more interesting. The United States Air Force is not just watching from the sidelines, they're actively backing this project. Why? Because the military implications of hypersonic flight are nothing short of game-changing. Think about it, hypersonic aircraft would make missiles nearly obsolete. During its operational years, the SR-71 famously outran over 4,000 missiles fired at it. Quarter Horse, with its Mach 5 capability, would be untouchable. In today's world, where nations like Russia and China are developing their own hypersonic missile technologies, the US needs something faster, smarter, and more efficient. Quarter Horse could be the answer. Hermes has already received millions in funding from the US government, and the military is watching closely as this aircraft moves from testing to real-world application. But let's not stop at the military. Hermes isn't just building aircraft for defense, they have their eyes set on the commercial sector too. After Quarter Horse, they plan to develop a hypersonic passenger jet called Halcyon. Imagine flying from New York to London in just 90 minutes. That's right, what used to be a 7-hour flight could soon take less time than watching a movie. And unlike the Concorde, which was noisy and expensive to operate, Halcyon aims to be efficient, quiet, and even environmentally friendly using sustainable aviation fuel. Think that's too far-fetched? Well, Hermes has already proven they can innovate faster and cheaper than anyone expected. Their first tests with the Chimera engine were done on a shoestring budget of $18 million, and they built the initial quarter-horse prototype in just six months. 
If that doesn't scream disruptor, I don't know what does. But here's where I think we need to be cautious. Hermes has done incredible work, but there are real challenges ahead. For one, the transition from prototype to a fully operational, reusable hypersonic vehicle is fraught with technical hurdles. And while the Chimera engine has passed initial tests, scaling that technology for long-haul flights, especially for commercial use, is a whole different ball game. Plus, there's the matter of public perception. Hypersonic travel sounds amazing, but will people actually embrace it? Remember, Concorde eventually failed not just because of its noise and cost, but because people weren't willing to pay for speed at that price point. Let's also not forget the international competition. While Hermes is blazing trails, countries like Russia and China aren't sitting idly by. Russia's Kinzel and Zircon hypersonic missiles are already in service, and China has been making huge strides with their own hypersonic technologies. The race for hypersonic dominance is as much about geopolitics as it is about technology. If the US wants to maintain its edge, Hermes and companies like it will need more than just innovative ideas they'll need government backing, public support, and flawless execution. To wrap things up, the Quarter Horse project is shaping up to be one of the most exciting developments in aviation since the space race. If Hermes succeeds, we're looking at a future where speed redefines everything from military strategy to how we think about travel. But as we move toward that future, we need to keep our expectations in check. The tech is groundbreaking, but the road ahead is still long and uncertain. That said, if there's one company bold enough to pull this off, it's Hermes. And if they do, the world as we know it will never be the same. This may seem crazy, but the evidence and real data show that they have been producing and manufacturing these planes. What will the future of the aviation industry be like when they succeed? The arms race will no longer exist because when they have produced this plane with its technology, it can destroy the army of any country easily. Do you think so? Currently, the arms race between countries is increasingly tense especially the tension between Russia and Ukraine. It represents Russia and NATO are fighting each other, including the US, because of many times supporting modern weapons for Ukraine. Many aircraft and weapons are supported to Ukraine, which shows that the US wants to show its financial strength. But because Ukraine has no experience in using modern weapons, the firepower and functions of the NNOS are significantly reduced, which shows us that it is due to the user's ability, not because the US weapons are weak or some other reason. Therefore, improving the firepower of weapons, especially the Air Force, is very necessary because the Air Force is very important. With fast movement speed, easy to approach the target and handle many situations very easily. So the US investment in these projects is very necessary and if successful, the ambition of dominating the sky is possible, even dominating the world. So what do you think? Are we on the verge of a new hypersonic age or is this just another ambitious experiment that could flame out? Let's keep our eyes on the skies because the future is moving faster than we can imagine.